Welcome back. Today we got a new candidate here. It's a AOR SU 5500 Spectrum display for my AR5000 receiver. I've got the 5000 already, but um, yeah, the display is a bit small on that one. So we got that one. Relatively cheap. I don't know if that's visible. It's got a pressure mark here on the display. It still displays okay. But uh, we're trying to figure out what the display requirements is. So getting the cover off is relatively easy. Uh, just take it off and then you need to take those aluminium bars off. And then you can pull the display unit forward. Take those screws out. Which, sitting are, which are sitting here. They're here. And then you can pull that back, and then we know it's a TW2294 Victor-0. And apparently, and if we look here, it says it's also a HLM8619 or TW2294V-0. So, we know what the display is, and it's, it's relatively simple, it's, it's just a unit which is fitted here, the um, backlit converter sits here, so you can take the unit out. There are some Chinese suppliers, that they just sell you the, basically just the, the LCD, but I don't want to go that far, I'd rather buy a complete unit. It still functions, so we just put it back together and uh, see how it works um, the, there's a lot of air in the, in the cabinet maybe I have some ideas for that alright so far that one we'll, hook, we'll put it back together and hook it up and uh, I just wanted to see what the display is uh, we know that now alright let's put it back together and fire it up I checked it already and it works so I just wanted to know what the display is actually. So and that's how it looks like illuminated. Just uh, just sending into a dummy load here. And uh, you do a few settings and you can see there the display is dying around that. It still it doesn't cover any anything vital so it's fine and uh, need to play a little bit with it. It's certainly better than the, the 5000 uh, because the display is just bigger. Looks alright to me. It does work. I need to, and if you use the serial link, you can actually move the receiver from this display rather than always going into the receiver display all right we know what the display is so we look for a display not urgent but if I come across one I just buy it because the unit seems to work it's very clean and uh, the seller really cared about it and uh, it was well packed so because the seller told me this happened because the plug of the power supply was rubbing on it on the display when he got it all right so just another one for the station here we'll see how, how good it is and uh, yeah well, we got some spectrum analyzers here too. we got portable hung chang and <coughs> we got the the altex 727 which is certainly a different animal but uh yeah, for a quick look, why not? That's okay. Well, these Hung Chang units are actually not bad. They go up to 1 gigahertz, actually over 1 gigahertz. Uh, I just turned the light down a little bit because otherwise you can't see the display. Um, they hold calibration very well. They're actually well built. They're made in Korea, not in China. Um, it's extremely hard to find a manual for it. 
I bought that many many years ago, probably 20 years ago and I lost the manual because I moved so many times and it just got lost and it's pretty much impossible to find the manual so if anyone has a manual for a Hong Chong 7802 spectrum analyzer um, I would appreciate it and the other one sorry there's a bit of wires and stuff so and our other spectrum analyzer is an Iltec 727 uh, it goes from almost DC to 20 gigahertz uh, further with external mixers it's a fantastic machine uh, I think it just it's got some some sort of PLL unit so you can do probably whatever 50 Hertz or 100 Hertz at 20 gigahertz resolution um, you need to warm it up for about half an hour and then it just sits rock solid it's un unbelievable it's, this is a fantastic machine it's built in the 70s I had to repair it a few times and dead caps and things like that but nothing serious I call it the ugliest instrument in my lab because this thing is so ugly this is actually a Tektronix uh, storage display which just sits in a hole in the front panel uh, so they saved <laughs> they actually saved the effort to make one of these they just bought it by, from Tektronix it's the same display unit as on the 464 Tektronix works exactly the same it's a barrel persistence uh, tube so it does work apparently the the screen says Altec on it but uh, yeah essentially it's the same tube as in the scope sometimes these units turn up and if I get one I'll probably buy a spare just to have one but essentially you can replace that by anything else um, because it just sweeps pretty slowly uh, and it's got outputs on the back so you can use a scope or whatever you want or some like some some computer stuff some, some ADC let's fire it up and see if it pops the fuse or not sometimes it does makes a lot of noise and as you can see it does something if you turn the light off you can see it's a variable persistence too but I I don't I'm not gonna put a signal in right now I don't have anything set up here I just wanted to mention that machine briefly because someone may ask what it is yes I, I really love it 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 does the job and uh, at the moment our center frequency is 14 gigahertz and yeah it will sit there in half an hour it will still work rock solid um, I'm after one of these Marconi units is 6050 something series which we need to fix it's down there uh, something blown up so it's uh, I think it's a 4 gigahertz unit so that's the right time to, te to test the analyzer as well all right that's from the analyzers and uh, yeah let's put that back on the shelf here and use it until we got a new display I almost forgot one this is a Marconi 2370 at least half of it that's the HF unit and um, I think the HF unit is fine it's got the display unit got a problem I have it for many years but I it needs a bit of work um, there is no display well there is display but there is no signal displayed so that needs a bit of work and uh, yeah we'll do that at some point as well because it's quite a handy piece of kit it goes from almost DC to 110 megahertz which is enough for any HF work that's the display unit the screen is a bit dirty as well so it's a bit of work we'll look into it as soon as I got a little bit of time so that should be it from the display unit um, probably show it in use at some point and also from the spectrum analyzers thanks for watching thanks for subscribing until next time